Um, at some point, who did what to whom in the last election is going to be a distant memory. At some point, the investigation of Russia's interference in the election will be over. But what will remain is the FBI and its reputation. I don't think the FBI is a political body, not the rank and file members. I don't want to believe that, and I don't believe that. But I worry about the perception that some Americans might have about the FBI based on some of the testimony that this committee and others have heard in the past, not today. Here's what I'm... I want you to be apolitical. I don't want you to exhaust yourself trying to make political friends up here. I want you to be Socrates. I want you to be Dirty Harry with the bad guys. And I want you to tell me how you're going to do that in this environment. Well, Senator, first let me say that I have, I think, a heightened appreciation for the point that you're making about the power of the FBI and what you said about the FBI's ability to ruin people's lives. One of the things that I did, even as head of the criminal division, was I tried to meet with every new hire and we're talking about over 400 lawyers, but every time we had a new hire, I would spend 10 to 15 minutes one-on-one -on -one with that person. And one of the points that I would try to make is that the decisions that that prosecutor would make, and the same thing would be true, obviously, for FBI agents in spades, short of their wedding or a death in their family, the public's interaction with law enforcement is the most meaningful, impactful experience those people ever have. And so prosecutors and agents need to conduct themselves in a way that remembers that and remembers that power and remembers how much significance they have. These are not just the people they deal with, whether it's targets of investigations, witnesses, victims, family members, jurors, it doesn't matter. All those people will remember their interaction with law enforcement in a way that people in law enforcement who do this every day may not remember quite as vividly. And so they need to conduct themselves in a way that keeps that in mind. Second thing I would say in response to your question is, I come back to the point that I made uh, in answer to Senator Klobuchar, which is the importance of process. The process needs to have integrity. The process needs to be independent. The process needs to be free from favor free from influence, free from fear, free from partisan politics. Because if people have confidence in the process, then they can have confidence in the results. And sometimes the results will be charges, sometimes those results will be declinations, but they need to have confidence in either well, let, one. Let me ask you about the process. And I appreciate your answer, counsel. I think, White, I, I think history will demonstrate that White Houses have been offering their advice to the FBI director for decades. Where do you draw the line? I mean, if the White House calls you, I'm anxious to know, or curious to know how it works internally. If the, F, if the White House calls you and says, we were reading about a story on uh, Medicaid fraud in, in, in a particular state, and we think you ought to look, at, look into that. Is that appropriate? My response to, to something like that, Senator, would be to say, if you have evidence, same thing I would say to anybody in this country, if you have evidence of a crime that you think the FBI needs to look in, give us the evidence, we'll take a look at it, we'll make an assessment, we'll play it by the book. And just like with within consider the source, and I would try to take into account under the particular circumstances if there was any other agenda or anything else going on. But the White House might have information about, in your hypothetical, about a crime that might need to be investigated, and I would take that seriously, just like I would from anybody.